All right, let's graph. When I want to plot, when I want to graph an equation in slope-intercept form, I have my equation, y equals mx plus b, something like this, right? Something like this. The first thing I do is I plot a point at the y-intercept. Now remember, the y-intercept is where the line meets the y-axis. So the y-intercept is always gonna be a point on the y-axis. So for example, in this case, the y-intercept is negative two. So I will go to the y-axis, I will find negative two, and I will plot one point, just like that, okay? I only need two points to graph a line, because once I have two points, then I know where the line is, right? Like if, if the two points are here and here, the line is here. If the two points are here and here, then the line is here, right? Like whatever it is, it's always gonna go through those two points. So first, I use the y-intercept. I go to that point on the y-axis. Next, from the y-intercept, I'm gonna start here, and I'm gonna go right for the run, okay? I'm gonna run to the right, and then I'm gonna go either up if the rise is positive, or down if the rise is negative to plot a second point, okay? So let's take a look. Here, my, my rise over run, and I actually even just like to write it like this, write it out separate where I write it. So here, my rise is one and my run is four. So look, I'm starting at the y-intercept. Am I starting here? Nope. I'm starting at the y-intercept and I'm rising one, running four. And that's my line right there. On the computer, it'll just kind of graph it for you. Here, we just sketch the line. Okay, let's do one more. I start at the y-intercept. Okay, that's this point. I go to the y-axis always, always, always. Do I plot it here? No, I plot it on the y-axis. So here, and then my rise over run is three over two. So I'm going to rise, one, two, three, run two, one, two. And here's my line. Okay, your turn to try it.